Delighted that you are all here, and I want to uh, give a big warm welcome to our colleague, Congressman Luis Gutierrez. Um, and uh, thank him for joining us here and for kicking off his national tour on the President's uh, Executive Actions on Immigration. Uh, hola y bienvenidos. Quiero darle la bienvenida al congresista Luis Gutierrez. Gracias, Luis, por esperar. Iniciar el tour, el tour nacional para hablar de la orden ejecutiva firma de la, por, por el presidente Obama. Uh, last year, as many of you remember, uh, Congressman Gutierrez was here as we rallied uh, together to support comprehensive immigration reform, and I'm really proud that he is back a year later. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our colleagues in the House, uh, led by the Republicans, have failed to take action on comprehensive immigration reform. But we're still fighting very hard, uh, Jim, Luis, and I, and many of our colleagues, to enact comprehensive immigration reform. But the President has taken uh, a really important and historic step to help keep families together. And we, we have to celebrate that. And most importantly, we have to be sure that people have good information about the availability of the executive order and what it means. The, the purpose of tonight really is to help educate the immigrant community here in our state uh, about how they can access the opportunities that have been made available through the President's executive order. And we want to ensure that people understand what the executive order does uh, so that those who are eligible are able to come forward safely, to submit to a background check, to register, to do all the things that they need to do to get right with the law and to receive work authorization and protection from deportation for three years. Estamos aquí para educar a la comunidad inmigrante de Roran acerca de la orden ejecutiva. Queremos asegurarnos, es a hard word, de que usted entiende los detalles acerca de la orden ejecutiva y cómo puede ser elegido. Luis said he would have given me easier words if he wrote it, but. Uh, this executive order is, uh, is going to keep families united and take a really important step, at least to responding to one part of our badly broken immigration system. And I'm very pleased that tonight we have local leaders, federal leaders, great advocacy groups, representatives from federal agencies that are really here to help explain how to navigate this process so that you can take uh, full advantage of this opportunity. And of course, we brought Luis Gutierrez because he's been the nation's most effective and most powerful voice on the necessity of fixing our broken immigration system. And <laughs> Luis has been described as the patron saint of immigration reform, but he has devoted energy and his intellect and his passion to this. And he's beginning a tour that will cover, as of now, 15 cities. It will probably grow to be sure that people all across this country understand what this executive order does and get good information about how to access the benefits it provides. But most importantly, he had the wisdom to begin his tour here in Rhode Island, in Providence. One of the other things that we want to be sure that people understand, and the part of the message tonight is to be sure that uh, people understand that this process, once the regulations are issued and once the rules are set forth, that this will be a fairly easy process to to do. You know, you'll have to meet all the requirements, you'll have to put together all the paperwork, but it won't be necessary to go hire people to do this for you. And unfortunately, we see sometimes in circumstances like this that, you know, these notarios come forward and if, you know, you pay them, they're going to move your, your case through more quickly or they're going to help you or they're going to do the application right now. And one of the other messages is that there are great agencies like Progreso Latino, Chispa, uh, Dorcas, uh, the diocese that are going to be helping folks do applications. You don't need to go pay money. You certainly shouldn't be hiring anybody right now because the applications aren't even available. So this is the other message we want to be sure that people understand. Don't be taken advantage of by some of these scams and unfortunately some unscrupulous people who have tried to benefit from the anxiety that folks have. Um, and finally, I just want to say that um, we all recognize that the permanent and uh, real solution to our broken immigration system is to pass comprehensive immigration reform uh, all of us, Jim Langevin, Congressman Gutierrez, who is the lead author, and I, we're all co-sponsors. He's the sponsor. We understand that. We're going to continue to fight for that. It's a bipartisan bill. That's the real answer. We shouldn't lose sight of that. But this executive order provides some temporary relief, at least for some group of 
uh, residents of our country that we can provide relief for.